Set 75326, Boba Fett's Throne Room. Comes with 732 pieces, 7 minifigures, costs $100 or £90. This is Planet Tech's 69 second review. Inside the box you'll find 6 numbered bags, the vertical instruction manual and a sheet of 6 stickers. Whilst the exterior of the palace is extremely underwhelming besides maybe that gatekeeper droid, the interior has a decent amount of space to pack in those 7 minifigures. The play features allow you to recreate the scene as Fennec shoots down the Gamoran Guard on her way in, as well as Boba dashing with Fortuna off the throne. The throne can slide forward, which we see a lot in Star Wars media, and in this set there is a hidden weapon storage underneath. The barbecue area at the back opens up for easier access, and the booth allows you to sit a couple more of the figures. Speaking of figures, Boba is the same one we got in last year's Boba Fett Starship set with the wrong coloured helmet and jetpack. Fennec Shand is also the same figure we got from the Imperial Light Cruiser, except worse because the helmet is gone and this Eternal's hairpiece just ain't it. Fat Bib certainly looks the part, as does the Gamoran and Weakway Guards. The Thielen Dance is a really nice addition, however the hairpiece looks ridiculous. The Quarren figure is by far my favourite, I love getting sets with new alien species in. This set's lure is the minifigures. It would have been nice to see some variation in the play features and a completed roof for the palace. I won't rush for the June seed to pick it up day one.